Hi everyone, a very good evening to all of you and welcome to today's live wherein we are going to be talking about how you can do complete revision of UGC NET uh, December 2023, specifically talking about British literature. Okay, uh, so before I go ahead, just a quick check if everything is working fine. So I would really request if uh, you guys can put in the comment section below. If you can see my screen and can hear me properly, if yes, we can uh, absolutely dive into the topic and talk about today's uh, very, very interesting topic, which is going to help you for the upcoming NET exam. As you guys know that the date has been announced by NTA and UGC NET English paper is going to happen on 6th of December. So you have approximately 20 days in hand and how you can utilize this 20 uh, day period for complete revision of British literature is what I'm going to focusing upon in today's lecture. Great. So um, can you guys see my screen and can hear me clearly? Just a quick time check. Today is 18th of November, Saturday. And right now the time is 4.53 p.m. All right. Uh, so I can see a lot of messages. Ani says, hello. Then we have Jewel, Anil, Vanshika, Vaibhavi, Zubi, Sujata, Mansi, Rudrakshi, Prahlad, Sonali, Kailash. Hi, everyone. Uh, great to see you all here. And we are going to uh, ensure that today's live lecture is going to be very very productive for you guys because um, uh, you know the exam time is really really around the corner so it's very important that you give your 100 percent in the last few days also there's a uh, there's a surprise that i have for all of you which i'm going to disclose as we proceed in today's life so without any further delay let's jump right into the topic and let's talk about what are we going to cover in today's lecture. So we are going to be covering about all these things. We'll be talking about the pros and cons of uh, British literature, as in studying British literature. We are going to talk about how to know what to study and what to skip. We'll be talking about history of British literature, authors and works, sources from where you can study, and very special secret ingredients uh, that most of the people miss out when they are preparing for British literature because of which they lose out on a lot of marks. Okay, so let's move on and talk about the first topic, which is the pros and cons of British literature. So as you guys are aware of the fact, just a second, let me just put the okay pointer. Right. So the first pro is that the writers that you study in British literature, you're already familiar with them because you've studied in your BA and MA program. So most of us have exhaustively covered a lot of famous uh, British writers like Shakespeare, Austin, Virginia Woolf, T.S. Eliot in our BA and MA. So when you read these uh, writers for the from the point of view of net, you don't feel as if you know, this is something new that you're studying. You already have a bit of familiarity with the writers. Secondly, it holds approximately 50% weightage in the paper. So UGC net paper two, if I talk about, if I talk about the 100 questions that you're going to see, you pick any, any previous year paper of UGC net uh, English literature, and you'll see that at least 50 questions come directly from British literature. So before I move ahead, I want to show you something. So uh, firstly, we have launched our new website on Diwali. So this is how arpatakarva.com now looks and it has all the information about the different courses and everything that we have to offer. So I would really request you that if you're looking for past year papers or you are looking for detailed syllabus or detailed topics that you should be covering, you can check it out on the website. So here when you go to uh, paper to English video course, you are going to see a uh, course syllabus where you will find all the writers. And when you see this exhaustive list of writers, you kind of feel that uh, from the entire paper, uh, you will see at least 50% questions coming from any of these writers. Okay. Uh, I would also want to tell you one more thing since we are on the website that we have put down all the past year papers and not just of UGC net paper one and paper two. We also have 
papers of gate set m entrance tgt pgt upsc english entrance uh, upsc english optional so all these papers are available uh, you can go to the website and uh, you know find out not just the question papers but also the answer key so answers are also there along with the questions so uh, this is something that i wanted to tell you now let's move on to the first con okay so the first con is that the length and depth of british literature is scary uh, because there are approximately 500 plus writers that you should be studying in order to cover this topic exhaustively and 500 plus writers is a very very huge chunk of syllabus that you should be covering secondly uh, people are unable to answer questions correctly in spite of knowing the writer so most of the time students say that uh, you know we have studied uh, virginia wolf in our bachelors and masters and even after knowing her famous works like to the lighthouse or maybe mrs dalloway we are still not able to answer questions that came in the paper from virginia wolf so my intention behind telling you the pros and cons is to tell you that this is the gap that you have to fill the reason why you should be focusing too much on british literature right now when only 20 uh, days are remaining for the exam not even 20 days if i'm specific it is about 17 18 days remaining for the exam so it is a perfect time to like focus on british literature secondly you should also keep in mind the cons and try to work very efficiently in order to like solve it okay moving on to the next topic which is to know the syllabus so knowing what you should be studying in british literature is very very important it's the first stepping stone we all know that tomorrow is uh, world cup final india is going to be playing against uh, Uh, Australia in the Narendra Modi Stadium uh, in Gujarat, uh, and you know when I think about cricket, one one very important um, interview that comes in my mind is an interview that I heard long back when the Indian cricket team was talking about how do they prepare themselves well for a match. just one day before the match. So suppose the match is going to happen today. So what is the team going to do? today in order to like prepare themselves for the match or in a week before the match and uh, surprisingly a lot of people in the interview room they said that okay you will be doing a lot of net practice you will be doing a lot of uh, physio cardio to keep yourself um, you know active and at, at in your best form but then when the cricketers were asked to answer this question they said that the most important thing that our coaches make us do is to look at the matches of the uh, of the opponent team for example if india is playing against australia so indian players are going to sit and watch all the previous matches of australian players where australia has played and they see that okay what is the batting style of this particular batsman what is the bowling style of this particular bowler and they are going to see and look through all the small 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 things to know exactly how does their enemy look like so what are they fighting against they should be knowing about it so in a very similar fashion if i talk about the syllabus before you dive in and conquer this huge monster called british literature it is very important for you to know exactly kya padhna hai what to study what to skip okay so what i have done on the website is that i have given you a free chronology list uh where i have divided the entire british literature into different chapters okay so i'll just take you uh through it once again so if you go to ugc net paper to english you are going to find out that okay so if you go to the course you are going to see that we have listed the entire modules modules have been divided into chapters and each chapter is further divided into lessons so and all these chapters also have subdivisions of poet dramatis essays so you know ki okay ye jacobian carolin age hai isme ye dramatis hame padhne hain these are the poets that we should be studying when we talk about restoration these are the prose writers these are the dramatis and later in the enlightenment period for the first time novels were introduced so then we have to also look at the famous novelist of each and every era so only after knowing 
this entire thing this age wise uh, age wide uh, wise and uh, you know uh, topic wise division of british literature you are actually able to understand your enemy you know okay this is what i have to study so i would first request you that the very very first thing that you should be doing is to know the syllabus you can check out the list that is available free of cost on the website you can uh, you know if you want you can like write it down or you can uh, start going through it on a day to day basis so that you exactly know kya padhna hai ab jab hum baat karte hain uh, after knowing the syllabus what is the next step that is to know the history of british literature okay now what is this history of british literature all about so it is very very important to know the political social and economic background of any age okay har age ka jab aap uh, political social and economic background jante ho so if you go to my website and you look at any chapter you will see that the first lesson that i talk about is the historic background theme style of this particular age so victorian age ki baat kare to victorian age mein kis type ke Uh, क्या किस टाइप का पॉलिटिकल सिचुएशन था व्हाट वाज द इकोनॉमिक सिचुएशन हाउ वाज द सोशल एंड कल्चरल सीन एंड व्हाट वर द कॉमन थीम्स एंड टॉपिक्स दैट द राइटर्स वर स्पीकिंग अबाउट सो एज वी ऑल नो दैट नॉवेल्स आर नथिंग नॉवेल्स आर एनी लिटरेरी वर्क फॉर दैट मैटर इज नथिंग बट अ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी सो इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द नॉवेल और द लिटरेरी वर्क perfectly you need to know what was the society like in that period so i have given you a very simple example that suppose let's say um there's an american student who wants to do a thesis a phd thesis on chetan bhagat so in order to understand any of the chetan bhagat's novel let's say three mistakes of my life he needs to know how is the college life of india so iits iims mein kis type ka hostel environment hai kis type ka life hai only when he knows that he will be able to understand chetan bhagat's novel just by thinking about okay america mein to aisa college life hota hai and from that perspective if he tries to read chetan bhagat's novel he is not going to uh, you know enjoy it savor it he is not going to come out with authentic interpretations okay so you need to know about all the important historical events so let's say if you are talking about the elizabethan period or um periods uh, during the interregnum uh, civil war and interregnum so you need to know protestant Revol- uh, reformation you need to know how the anglican church was formed then you need to also know about henry the 8th and the six wives you need to also know about uh, anglican church and how henry the 8th kind of did so many things in order to like change the entire religious setup of england you need to know about pamphlet war war of roses and so many different different acts and uh, you know um acts and for that matter you have to also look at different different um leaders who came up with their own interpretation like for example oliver cromwell when he came he banned the theater because he had a view a very different view that theater is uh taking people away from true form of christianity so theater must be banned so when you know all these things it is going to make so much sense when you read john milton when you read uh important uh poets who were writing at that time who were talking about freedom of speech because that was curbed during the period of oliver cromwell similarly when the victorian period came when you know about industrialization you know about how people were moving towards materialism you know about different um you know labor laws and slave laws that were coming during that time you can actually very well understand the text and you don't have to mug up a lot of information because you will understand it automatically so history of british literature is very important even if you're studying today i would really want you to focus on the political social and economic background of each of these ages because without this you will not understand a lot of works secondly uh when you read this you will also get an extra edge because e- even in the question paper out of the 50 questions that come from british literature there are approximately 4 to 5 questions that are asked from this entire topic that is history of british literature now so once you have understood the syllabus you know what the syllabus is then you have understood the history of british literature all the ages and uh the important movements that were happening in that age then comes the next important thing which is the authors and works 
so the first thing that you should know first step is to know the syllabus that is listed here second is for each of the ages you need to know the historic cultural and political background and the third thing is to know all these writers so to do a in depth study of the most important writers of every age so the detailed list is available on arpitakarva.com it is going to act as a, a blueprint for you and if you are starting today i would suggest you to study 10 writers per day so it totally depends upon you that which writer do you want to study so there is uh, there is uh, no chronological order as in from the perspective of importance in the question paper that okay i will tell you that okay don't study age of revival it is not important and focus totally on romantic age i would not say that ideally what should be the case is that you should be studying chronologically from chapter 1 till chapter uh, 12 because then in that case you know the chronological um, order of the entire history but if in case you're not having a lot of time you can pick and choose any 10 random writers that you like that you feel like studying today for example today i wake up in the morning and i feel that okay i want to study enlightenment age ke sare novelists so i decide that i'm going to study these six novelists and i'm going to study four prose writers of romantic age so this is my target for today these are the 10 writers that i should be studying in detail today how do you study these writers i'm definitely going to come on that but then what is important for you is to understand that every day you pick 10 writers so if you have 30 days though i prepare this uh, as for 30 days so uh, in 30 days you prepare 300 writers but now that you have 15 7 uh, 15 uh, days approximately you can cover 150 writers and even if you cover 150 writers it's going to give you so much more clarity and i am telling you that if you study like this the way i have described it here if you cover 10 writers every day for the next 15 days at least 10 to 15% more marks you can expect on the day of the exam that much uh, confidence i have on this study plan because i've seen it working miraculously for a lot of my students okay so now before i move ahead just want to know from you guys if in case you have some questions i can see a few people asking questions uh suraj says should we write in english literature exam in paragraphs or points uh suraj i am um, i am a little confused whether you're asking about ugc net because in ugc net the entire paper is in the mcq format so you don't have to write anything but yes if you're talking about ma exams then i would always suggest you to write in paragraphs um what's the right way to make notes of british literature for exam in less time i'm going to talk about that in the next uh, slide so please stay tuned to it shashank says ma'am i cracked ugc net 3 years back now i work in bank i want to be in touch with contemporary and current happenings in literature so uh, shashank your topic is a slightly different from what we are covering in today's lecture so i think the best way to be in touch with the contemporary and current happening is to get um, you know access to or make accounts on platforms like academia and uh, shodh ganga where you find the researches that are happening on a day to day basis and what kind of papers in uh, papers are being published in the field of english literature um then we have another question shashank ma'am uh, okay it's the same question uh shruti says ma'am 10 writers per day what should we study i mean their important works and all shruti i'm going to talk about that in the next segment of this video so thank you for asking this question this is exactly what i'm going to answer in the later section of this video um chandan says ma'am everything in your website is paid no chandan i think i've made it very clear in the uh, in the initial few videos that the entire module uh that we are sharing this is this entire module is um, available free of cost and past year papers are available free of cost other than that there are a lot of other things that you can find on my website like there is a concept called free counseling you can uh, in the exam time if you're stressed or if you want help in regards to how to channelize your preparation what should be the blueprint how to revise for all of that you can just fill this form and our counselors are going to get in touch with you um get in touch with you um and that will be an absolute 
monthly uh, free service that is provided from our side we also provide you scholarships so if you can apply for scholarship here and if you fill this form uh, we give a free course to a lot of our students who are not in a position to pay so you can also apply here our team is going to evaluate it and if you are selected then we are going to offer you scholarships apart from that if you go to our website uh, which is courses.arpitakarwa.com where we provide courses for ugc net english here you will find that we have a lot of courses and uh, all these courses are also available so there is a premium uh, you know demo videos in pdf which is for free you can check this out it has a few uh, video lectures and mock tests that you can attempt which is exactly like how the ugc net um, you know exam is conducted so if i go here so you will find questions and the the interface is exactly like how it is there in uh, in the exam room so once you go here and you click on submit just a second you click on submit and it is going to give you the entire um, you know entire um, result so how many questions you have correct uh, correctly attempted how many incorrect questions what was the score analysis where do you stand in terms of all the other students who are there in the platform so all of this data uh, you can absolutely find out from um, you know from the test report so my suggestion to you would be that just go and search for uh, different pages on the website you will find that we have provided a lot of free content uh, also if uh, any one of you who is preparing for ugc net for the first time and are planning to just give just sit for december net you know for sake of sitting uh, for sake of giving it but are seriously preparing for june attempt june 2024 attempt i would highly recommend you to join the online course that we have on the platform this course not just has video lectures for each of the topics it has uh, mock test series and pdf notes i'm just going to show you a pdf uh, note so this is like Virginia Woolf's PDF notes. I'm going to talk about this very soon when, uh, you know, I'm going to take you through the second half of the um, presentation today. So you can enroll. The Diwali offer is going on is what I've heard from my team. So you, you get flat 4,000 rupees off on this particular price if you enroll for six months. And there's also an option to enroll for 12 months. So if you uh, buy the course right now, one benefit would be that you can prepare for the december exam in the next 15 days from the same course you can you know go to the course uh, and any any writer any topic that you decide for example let's say uh, in british literature you decide to study um let's go there yeah so if you decide to study let's say elizabethan area uh, elizabethan age and you want to study william shakespeare so you get all the lectures on william shakespeare and then you can study from here you also get uh, you just do not get video lectures but you also get uh, pdf notes okay on all these topics and these videos are amazing you can also find out uh, find about these videos on our um, youtube channel we have posted a few videos for free so if you go to the channel you will be able to locate these so this is a video uh, which is a pride and prejudice video which is there and this is how the video lecture looks like you can check this uh, video out paradise lost ka video humne dal rakha hai rhyme of ancient mariner ka video dal rakha hai so you can check these videos out uh, from our website it's going to give you a glimpse on how we teach and if you are planning to study on your own it will give you a direction that how do you how are you supposed to be making notes okay uh moving ahead to the next topic which is sources from where you can study so books ki agar hum baat karte hain so british literature ke liye two good books that i recommend is william j long and routledge history of english literature though both of these books are going to just give you overview of the writers they are not going to give you all the relevant information as in they'll not cover a writer from end to end they'll have half a page or one page information for a writer as important as wb yeats but then wb yeats ki itne sare works hai that you have to understand and study all of them in detail so for that you have to go to a lot of other videos like you can study from uh, youtube uh, video lectures that we give for free uh, it is available on our channel which is basically uh, 
history of english literature series that we are offering so if you type your uh let's say you type age of chaucer so you are going to get this video so it is a complete video series that we have in which we've covered all the ages so you can check out uh, this particular thing or you can even check out the detailed video course that is available or you can also study from a lot of other sources like study.com lit charts grade saver uh, there is um, spark notes and study.com so all these sources are also going to give you a lot of relevant information one very important thing that you should be study uh, you should be focusing upon is to know what to study and what to skip because british literature is so huge uh, in terms of the vastness that you need to know that okay these are the informations that i have to skip for example birth and death date of writers uh, you can absolutely skip i would never recommend you to learn the chronological dates out of 120 canterbury tales uh, you should be knowing which ones to study you cannot just go about studying everything similarly childhood information of a lot of minor writers minor writers for example is robert saudi now robert saudi and william wordsworth are two romantic writers but william wordsworth ke childhood se kafi sare questions aate hain robert saudi being a minor writer not something not someone who is being extensively studied uh, in universities and colleges so you can skip uh, studying a lot of information about him similarly important details like em foster was a follower of vedanta and coleridge created a society called pantisocracy pantisocracy is basically uh, something that you must have heard in paradise lost where in the second book of paradise lost um, लुसिफर टॉक्स अबाउट इट सो ई एम फॉस्टर एंड कोल्ड्रिज के बारे में अगर आपने ई एम फॉस्टर के मेन वर्क भी पढ़े हैं कोल्ड्रिज की पोएम्स पढ़ी है बट यू डोंट नो दीज इंपॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज इंपॉर्टेंट डिटेल्स देन देर इज अई चांस दैट यू विल गेट द क्वेश्चन रॉन्ग सो दैट इज द रीजन यू नीड टू नो वॉट टू स्टडी एंड वॉट टू स्किप ओके नाउ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट topic which is the secret ingredients that a lot of students miss out when they are preparing for british literature so the very first thing that you should you should be focusing on whenever you are reading any work of british literature is to know the subtitle for example my question to all of you is that if you can comment below what is the subtitle of the famous play importance of being earnest so i am just waiting to see your comments i would want uh each one of you to think about the subtitle of importance of being earnest and put that in the comment section below so subtitle of all the important works you must know secondly all the important characters so there are questions where you get match the character with novel so you will get like uh, four characters of charles dickens novels and four of the novels and then they ask you to match it so in order to remember so many characters you can prepare like small diagrams of these characters and put it in sticky notes and paste it on the walls of your uh, room so that every day for the next 15 days when you list, uh, you look at it you kind of remember then you need to also know for example for animal farm animal farm me kaun se political references hai all the characters stand for one of the political leaders of that time so that connection is very important so what you need to know in any work that you are going to read for british literature you need to know the subtitle you need to know the important characters then you need to know the opening and closing line byron shelley keats kisi ki bhi poetry le lijiye sabke jo poems hain उसकी स्टार्टिंग की लाइन आपको पता होनी चाहिए देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन विच केम फ्यू इयर्स बैक आई थिंक इन नेट वेर दे आज द दे गेव द ओपनिंग सेटिंग द स्टेज सेटिंग ऑफ लुक बैक इन एंगर एंड दे आज दैट ओके ये जो सेटिंग है ये कौन से प्ले की है सो इवन आपको वो टाइनिएस्ट डिटेल्स भी पता होनी बहुत जरूरी है देन सम वेरी फेमस कोटेशन लाइक हैप्पी फैमिलीज आर ऑल लाइक एवरी एन हैप्पी फैमिली इज अनहैप्पी इन देयर ओन वे कमिंग बैक टू द क्वेश्चन दैट आई जस्ट आज दैट वॉट इज सब टाइटल ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ बींग ऑर्नेस्ट एंड आई हैव टू आंसर्स बुक निंजा से इज अ ट्री वील कॉमेडी फॉर सीरियस पीपल एंड लिटरेचर से इज अ ट्री वील कॉमेडी so when you are knowing the subtitle you need to know the entire subtitle absalom and achitophel ka jo subtitle hai usko leke kafi bar bahut confusing questions aate hain ki subtitle is a poem or uh, there was 
um, another variation which was the subtitle of some other work so aapko pata hona chahiye ki exact subtitle kya hai sirf itna hai a trivial comedy ya a trivial comedy for serious people ye hai so with that clarity you must remember then themes and symbols aapko pata hona chahiye to the lighthouse kya symbolize karta hai scarlet letter mein letter a kya symbolize karta hai thomas hardy ke jitne novels hain wo novels wo log de denge sath mein aur aur small symbols ya motifs de denge and then they ask you to match it ki suppose let's talk about um, mayor of the castle bridge uska symbol kya hai okay ya usme kaun sa symbol use kiya gaya fog train is type ke symbols hain to aapko pata hona chahiye moving ahead to the next topic which is references so you must know all the references of the major works so for example if we talk about wasteland so it has 135 references coleridge ka jo kubla khan jo likha gaya hai uh, work wo liya gaya hai usme reference hai samuel purchase ka pilgrim the progress so wahan se uh, sorry uh, purchase the pilgrim uh, so wahan se unhone कुबला खान के अंदर एक रेफरेंस डाला है फ्रैंकस्टीन में वी नो द मॉन्स्टर इज रीडिंग पैराडाइज लॉस सो यू सी आपको हर टेक्स्ट के जो इंपॉर्टेंट रेफरेंसेस हैं वो पता होना चाहिए जॉनरा पता होना चाहिए एप्सिलम एन एच टिल अ वेरी फेमस वर्क उसका आईम्बिक पेंटामिटा में लिखा गया है या ब्लैंक वर्ड्स में लिखा गया है शैली के जो पोयम्स है वो ड्रामेटिक मोनोलॉग है बैलड है ओड है क्या है सिमिलरली अगर ड्रामा की बात हो तो ड्रामा जो है वो सपोज लेट्स टॉक अबाउट लुक बैक इन एंगर सो इज इट अ थिएटर ऑफ एब्जर्व ड्रामा क्लॉज इट ड्रामा किचन सिंह ड्रामा क्या है सो so, ये सब जब तक आपको पता नहीं होगा इट बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू गेन मार्क्स जस्ट नोइंग द समरी ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट लिटरी वर्क विल नॉट सॉल्व द पर्पज आई एम गोइंग टू टेक यू टू थ्रू दीज थ्री इम्पोर्टेंट राइटर्स सो लेट्स फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट एलिजेथ बैरिड ब्राउनिंग सो अगर हम एलिजेथ बैरिड ब्राउनिंग की बात करते हैं सो so, बायोग्राफी में इतना आपको पता होना जरूरी है एलिजाबेथ बैनेट ब्रैडेट ब्राउनिंग के लिए रॉबर्ट ब्राउनिंग ने एक बहुत ही सुंदर लाइन लिखी थी व्हेन दे वो कोटिंग काइंड ऑफ व्हेन ही रेड हर वर्सेस सो ही रोड दैट आई लव योर वर्सेस विद ऑल माय हार्ट डियर मिस बैरेट ओके एंड दे सेटल्ड इन इटली देन एलिजाबेथ बैरेट ब्राउनिंग मैरीड रॉबर्ट ब्राउनिंग डिस्पाइट फादर्स ऑपोजिशन फेमस लाइन्स क्या है सोनेट्स फ्रॉम पोर्टुगीज है तो उसमें कितने सोनेट्स हैं एंड हाउ डिड शी डाई सो ऑल दीज इम्पोर्टेंट डिटेल्स इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू नो सिमिलरली अगर हम माइनर वर्क्स की बात करें तो ये चार माइनर uh, वर्क्स है जो आपको पता होने चाहिए इनके बारे में कुछ कुछ डिटेल्स आपको पता होने चाहिए जरूरी नहीं आपको सब कुछ पता हो सिमिलरली इफ यू मूव टू वर्जीनिया वुल्फ सो वर्जीनिया वुल्फ की अगर हम बात करें सो वर्जीनिया वुल्फ का राइटिंग स्टाइल आपको पता होना चाहिए इन्होंने लियोनार्ड वुल्फ से शादी करी थी वर्क्स पब्लिश करे हैं जो हॉगर्थ प्रेस था उसके अंदर टी एस एल एट सिंग फ्रॉइड के ट्रांसलेट किया है कितनों के वर्क अफेयर था इनका किसी के साथ में ना यहाँ से फेमिनिज्म की शुरुआत होती है आप देखेंगे कि कहीं ना कहीं फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वर्जीनिया वुल्फ सो वोकल अबाउट हर अफेयर एंड हाउ डिड शी डाई ऑल दीज माइनर इन्फॉर्मेशन इज इम्पोर्टेंट now if we talk about virginia wolf's minor works so in spite of knowing the major works like mrs dalloway and to the lighthouse it is also important for you to know all these minor works yahan se question aata hai first work kaun sa tha virginia wolf ka uh, which was voyages out to ye aapko pata hona chahiye uska original title kya hai usme kyun important hai because first bar appear hui thi clarissa dalloway सो ये कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट डिटेल्स है जो आपको मिस आउट नहीं करनी है दीज आर नथिंग बट पीडीएफ दैट वी प्रोवाइड इन आर ऑनलाइन कॉज आफ्टर वी डिलीवर कंप्लीट वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑफ द टॉपिक्स सो आई वुड रियली रियली रिक्वेस्ट यू टू जस्ट गो थ्रू दीज यू कैन यू कैन ऑल्सो चेक आउट द पी डी एफ विच इज अवेलेबल ऑन द वेबसाइट इट इज अवेलेबल फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट यू कैन गो टू द वेबसाइट एंड योर इन द डेमो मटीरियल सेक्शन यू विल find not just pdfs but few video lectures and mock tests i would really suggest you that uh, you you should like go through the pdfs and video lectures once so that you understand how do you have to make notes if you are planning to make it on your own similarly if we talk about the another interesting work is orlando now orlando is a very important work because it is kind of fictionalized survey of the In, of entire English literature, so Elizabethan period से लेके 1928 जब ये work published हुआ है तब तक पूरे English literature का एक तरीके से आपको बहुत जिस्ट में कुछ बता दिया गया है so that is Orlando. so इस तरीके से when you go through different different works you understand की 
क्या इम्पोर्टेंट है बहुत बार नेट में प्रोफेशन ऑफ वेमेन से क्वेश्चन आया है एंजल इन द हाउस करके एक बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट आइडिया बताया गया है इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्क जिस पे क्वेश्चन आया है वो जीना बुल्क का सो माई सजेशन टू यू वुड बी दैट डोंट जस्ट फोकस ऑन दीज थ्री वर्क रूम ऑफ वन सोन मिस इज डेलोवे टू द लाइट हाउस ये आपने पढ़ लिया दैट इज नॉट सफिशियंट यू नीड टू ऑल्सो नो अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर थिंग्स सिमिलरली अगर आप टू द लाइट हाउस या मिसिज डेलोवे की बात करते हैं सो so, इसके अंदर सिर्फ आपको समरी पता होना जरूरी नहीं है ऑल दीज माइनर कैरेक्टर्स दैट आई हैव मेंशनड हियर फॉर एग्जांपल ये लोग रीजेंस पार्क जो लंदन का एक बहुत फेमस पार्क है वहां मिलते हैं वो मेंशन आपको याद रखना होगा हो सकता है देयर कैन बी अ क्वेश्चन वेयर दे आर्स दैट ओके मिसेस डालोवे में जो फर्स्ट सीन है वेयर इज इट सेट अप सिमिलरली आपको पता होना चाहिए कि यू नो हर कैरेक्टर का किससे क्या लिंक है सो वेन यू गो थ्रू दीज काइंड ऑफ कैरेक्टर डायग्राम यू अंडरस्टैंड सो माई सजेशन टू ईच वन ऑफ यू आउट देर वुड बी दैट प्लीज डोंट मेक नोट्स विच इज फिल्ड विथ लाइक पॉइंटर्स ट्राई टू मेक वेरी विजुअली अपीलिंग नोट्स वेर यू ड्रॉ डायग्राम यू ड्रॉ कैरेक्टर मैप्स एंड दैट इज हाउ यू ट्राई टू रिटेन इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज देर आर अप्रोक्सिमेटली फाइव हंड्रेड राइटर्स एंड एवरी राइटर हैज रिटर्न सो मेनी वर्क दैट बाई दी एंड यू फिनिश ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर देर आर अप्रोक्सिमेटली फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड टू टू थाउजेंड नॉवल्स और पोएम्स दैट यू हैव स्टडीड इन डिटेल एंड you cannot remember all of that you have to use the pictographic memory where you just see it and you are able to retain it similarly you have to also know some important facts and quotes okay uh, so this particular novel is very very famous for stream of consciousness some important lines which can be asked in the exam there is a reference to shakespeare so all of this you have to keep in consideration similarly if we talk about uh let's say ts eliot's love song of j alfred prefrog so you need to understand that you know you, just knowing the summary of j alfred prefrog would not work you have to also understand that this was influenced by dante who was it was a very famous italian poet and it was published under the influence of ezra pound another famous um, uh, british american poet so by knowing all of this you are able to get to the you know to the minutest detail which helps you clear net because summary everybody would know but then there are some important important facts which a lot of people kind of skip which you can know by going through some specific details which you will find not just in books but for that you have to also refer to a lot of websites like study.com lit charts grade saver so my uh, you know my suggestion to you would be uh, towards the end of this video would be that please ensure that you focus on all these things you just don't focus on reading the summary or just sticking to the books you have to understand that whenever you are reading any novel or any play you keep in mind all the pointers that we have mentioned here okay so now that you know i have said uh, all what i had to say i would want to open the house for a few questions i can take two three questions uh and would want to know if in case you guys are facing any dilemma or doubts related to british literature uh any says ma'am i have taken your capsule course only can i complete literary theory and british literature what to do ma'am perfect any i think the time that you have in hand you cannot complete anything else apart from british literature and literary theory in the last few days of the exam and uh, i would also want to suggest to uh other people who are uh, like a little tense that you can also opt for other courses that we have so if you go to um, you know the section of ugc net paper 1 and paper 2 you find that there's a mock test series that we have for you where we are giving you mock test for paper 1 and paper 2 which is very very important in the last few days so you get like 5000 plus questions in the mock test and i just showed you one sample mock test how does that look like so you can go to like different different ages and you can you know give mock test for each of the ages after you prepare a particular age so i'll just show you how this looks like so just like this interface you will find that you have approximately 100 questions ke different different um, uh, test which you can give and you can analyze your score uh then we have shruti says yes papers and syllabus is free on their app yes we have syllabus and paper is available free of cost uh then ma'am 
can you please suggest me the authors and books for UGC net in English please uh see authors and books I have already mentioned it it's it's here if you go to my website and go to courses video course you will find this entire list so this is the list of authors and as far as works is concerned so if you go to you know let's say the video course so if I go here and I go to video lectures so here you will find that let's say Victorian age so I've given you all the uh, authors Lord uh, Alfred Lord Tennyson is the poet and these are the three works that you have to study in detail Lotus Eaters Break 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 Ulysses and then uh, there are a lot of minor works so minor works I've not mentioned because there are 10 12 minor works that we cover in one lecture so it, it becomes like really really lengthy as a title uh Kamini says how many marks to clear you English net exam so out of 300 questions like 300 marks 150 questions if I say you need to get at least 60 to 65 percent questions correct that is a very good passing uh, percentage uh, other than that it would also depend upon which category do you fall into so for STSC OBC the cutoff is a little lower um Nandini says please come live on PT, paper one teaching aptitude research communication absolutely I'm going to take uh, one particular uh, video on that as well just bring 30 minutes six live before exam it will be very helpful need a revision session for paper one absolutely I'll, I'll come up with something like that is there any trick to learn Shakespeare's chronology book ninja oh uh, see frankly if you ask me personally you don't have to get into the chronology there is a very very rare chance that they are going to ask you the chronology for Shakespeare because that's a very very simple question according to uh, the UGC net panel so I would not suggest you to focus on publication dates chronology or let's say you know birth and death dates of the writers uh Kinero says ma'am will this be useful for UPSC English optional subject absolutely like if you prepare for UGC net English you can clear any paper related to English literature in the entire world because UGC net English covers anything and everything written or translated in English uh Parimala says nowadays chronology is very important how can we cover it so Parimala for chronology I would not want you to uh, you know cover uh, you know remember the dates so 1924 25 I would rather suggest if you can uh, kind of remember the works in the same order so when you keep on going through these PDFs again and again you will automatically remember that voyages out pehle Jacob's room last may profession for women is that is up chronology automatically you cannot remember the dates 2000 works up or two other works the dates the is practically impossible for anyone okay so with that note I think I am going to end the session so right now it is 18th of November Saturday 5 35 p.m. and I'm going to take your leave I wish you all the best for the next 15 days. I know it is a very, very uh, crucial time for each aspirant out there. And therefore, I would want that please keep your cell phones off. Please keep yourself away from all the distractions and focus completely on uh, giving your 100% in, in the last 15 days. Because whatever you study in the last 15 days kind of fast tracks your performance kind of uh, gives you that extra edge uh, when it comes to clearing uh, an exam as difficult as UGC net so with that note I would like to take your leave that's it from my side for this video lecture I'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and